Reload. Forgot to reload. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. You're being tricky, aren't you? I see how you are. Is going on gaming nerds welcome back to midnight gaming with mystic nightmare thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out hopefully you guys are having an amazing day i'm having a pretty decent day it is midnight yet again yet again we are back on satisfactory taking a little bit of damage okay today i want to deal with three things i want to try three things out i want to test them and see exactly how good they are and how not good they are and i'm going to give you guys my honest opinion we're going to do the radar tower we're going to throw up a radar tower and see exactly what that thing does we're going to open up the rifle and the cartridges and we're going to see how good that thing is and then last but not least we're going to go ahead and we're going to start out a gas mask boring I know but we're gonna try out some of the filters and we're gonna see how long the filters actually last how many you actually may want to you know carry on your body at all at, at all times and, and yada yada all that good stuff let's go ahead and get started first of all I've already kind of made all of this stuff for this stuff and stuff and this milestone select the milestone we got beacons we got crystal oscillators I think I got some crystal oscillators we need a hundred engines and then we need uh, heavy modular frames and I believe I actually have enough of this stuff because I've made a whole bunch of this stuff over here obviously uh, where's all my beacons Did I put some in here I believe I put some in here okay so here's the beacons uh, I did just put them over here right okay so there's the beacons I don't know why I did an extra 25 and then I think I need more uh, engines where did I do with the engines that is the engines right there Okay, so we got some engines. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I'm gonna stick. Uh, technology unlocked. The radar tower automatically charts and updates the map of your fixit approved designated zone in a radius dependent on its height. Initial charting takes a variable amount of time. So it depends on its height, which I can completely understand. On top of that. We need, let's just go ahead and do a gas mask right now. We might as well just do one. Okay, so I think the only thing I have left is fabric that I need on this thing, right? Uh, now, the thing about the gas mask is the fabric, I'll be completely honest with you, it kind of sucks. And that's because... Um, you need mycelia for it and when it comes to mycelia it's not as easy to find as like regular plant leaves and wood and stuff like that. So if you find like a big deep dark cave or something like that then you can usually find a lot of mycelia but for the most part they're not around too much um so if you're really looking for some uh i definitely highly suggest going into a deep deep dark cave okay let's go ahead and make some filters i'm not sure how many i've decided to make i think it's 50 we can do 50 with this right Oh yeah, and see how fast the filters go? They go down so fast, it's ridiculous. I'm just hoping that it, it, they last quite a while. I don't know if you just stand in the middle of the gas and, and everything's fine and dandy and they just slowly count down or what? I don't know if you get, you know, if you get a little, uh, what's it called? Um, a, 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 uh, a, a little icon in the screen or something like that. Is it go right there? Yep, you have to put it over. Okay, so there's our icon right there. Okay, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and switch out to the jetpack again. And then let's go ahead and see what we're gonna need to make a radar tower. Uh, anywhere? There's a radar tower right there. Okay, so we do need 10. Okay, so we do need 10 of these bad boys. Uh, where did they go? Right here? Yeah, so we do need 10 of these. Okay, and then... is it, I think we're going to need a few of these. One, two, three, four, five. No, we got two. We got two up there. We should be good to go. Okay, so radar tower. Let's just go ahead and set one. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's do this. Here's the map. Here's our base. Let's go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to climb up to 
I don't know which rock it is. I think I'm going to climb up to that rock right there behind our uh, our space elevator. But before we do that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait this extra 10 minutes. We're going to open up the rifle first, and then we're going to go ahead and... Uh, should we make it? Now nah, we'll just go ahead and put the radar tower up. But I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to come through. All right, our pod is coming back. We've got 10 seconds. I love watching this guy come back into the atmosphere. You get the whole sonic boom and everything else. It's really cool. Let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and open up that uh, two, one, zero. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the rifle. Now you're gonna need 50 Noblisks, and if you guys make Noblisks by hand, you know that's gonna suck. Absolutely suck. They really suck when it comes down to making them by hand. Uh, I wish you could just click on this, and if it was in your inventory, it'd automatically go in. All right, so there's that. Do we have enough materials to do? Are we out of Noblisks? I don't know why I have the rubber and the, the plastic over here. We got Noblisks over here, too, so let's just go ahead and grab those. I think those are going to be for our rifle. I'm going to go ahead and take this out, too, because we don't need to worry about that right now. So let's get on our way. It's getting a little bit dark, but that's okay, because all we're doing is basically... I didn't get any talking from her. I wonder why I didn't get any talking. Ah, I didn't wonder, wonder why I didn't get any talking from her. Oh, and if you guys didn't notice, in the upper left-hand corner, there is no more label that says experimental build. So, yeah, we are past the experimental build. The experimental build has now been pushed over to the stable build. Uh, it feels a lot more stable. It's a lot less laggy, I can tell you that much right now, which I'm super excited about. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to put the radar tower up here. Now, to be honest with you, I don't really have a lot of faith, faith when it comes down to these radar towers. I don't think they're going to be worth much, but we're I'm not going to really explain why until I actually find out exactly what they do. I'm pretty sure I already know. Uh, it basically just gets rid of the fog of war. Um, if you don't know the fog of war, basically you hit Z, go into your map, and you get that black stuff all over. That is the fog of war, basically is what it's called. So I'm going to do is we're going to see if we can get up here from over here. Whoa, a little bit of lag spike there. And we made it. Come on, get up there. Get up there. There we go. Almost got it. All right, now we're going to see if we can go ahead and put up one of these. I'm thinking that's a little bit too close to the tree. Come on. There we go. And we'll put down another one, say, right over here. And we'll put down an MK4 belt. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I like it when it does that. You go so freaking fast, it's ridiculous. Oh, okay, I guess I'm landed. All right, so here we go. Radar Tower takes beacons, uh, crystal oscillators, heavy modular frames, as well as cables. There we go. There is our, ta our t -t 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 tower. Holy cow, that thing is huge. Holy cow, that thing is huge. That's what she said. Oh, that joke is getting so old now. Look at that thing. Okay, so it looks really, really, really cool. It's actually really cool looking. Um, can we climb it? Oh, yep, there's a ladder right there. Can we... Oh, this is going to be a long climb, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Or maybe not. I think it actually ends right here. Does it? Yeah, it does, and there's a... Okay, is there any further we can go up? I would like to. A little further? There we go. So we can pretty much go all the way up to the top of it. Holy crap. Look how high we are. We can't see anything. Look how high we are. This is great. Can we go even higher? Yes. Yes, we can. We can probably go all the way up to the very top of it. Oh, I like this. This is really nice. Can we go all the way up to the top of it? Oh, yeah, baby. Look at this thing. This thing is fantastic. This thing is high. And it's very cool looking. You got lots of instruments and everything on it. I really like the look of that. That is really, really cool. Okay, so now here's something that I've been kind of worried about, to be completely honest with you. I have a feeling this thing is powered by cables. If it is, I'm not going to be super happy about it, to be completely honest. Uh... Right. Okay, so first, before we do anything, let's look at the map. 
So this is supposed to get rid of the fog of war. So if you look, if maybe you can find some landmarks to kind of look at, like right here. How about this line? It looks like our fog of war goes along this line right here. We'll see how much it uncovers when we actually activate it. Because I believe when you activate it, it starts up and then over time it goes bigger. The circle goes wider and wider and wider. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a lag spike. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and connect to a power pole down there. I can't even see my power poles. It's too freaking dark. Uh, let's wait for daytime so I can see my power poles. All right, it is early morning. I believe I can see my poles well enough now. I was able to put one down here, so hopefully I can connect that one to this one up here. Okay, and just to let you guys know, if I come over here and I press E, as you can see, no power. Uh, yeah, so... We're going to have to power it. Boom. Okay, now immediately let's hit Z. Look at our map. Okay, remember this was the line right here that we couldn't see before. So as soon as you power it on, it opens up quite a bit of the fog of war. Now here's the cool thing about it is when you press E on it, it shows you the current area that's been scanned. And over five minutes time, every time, one of these little ticks out here will get it'll it will, will get scanned basically it'll get further and further and further out so you get more and more of your fog of war uncovered okay now here's the thing here's here's my honest opinion about it they're pretty they're very cool looking um but they're pretty much worthless <laughs> to be completely honest with you and here's why basically there's really only two things that i can think of that would actually help you when it comes down to the radar tower, if you're working with like a map on Google and you can find all of the nodes on that map, you may need a lot of the fog of war removed. So you can go ahead and find where those nodes are using landmarks because the radar towers don't show nodes. They don't show anything other than undoing the fog of war, basically. So if you're looking for certain nodes and you're using like a Google map or something to find where those nodes are, you could essentially use these to un to undo all the fog of war and find landmarks where you can actually find the nodes that's the first one the second one is maybe a new base place maybe you're looking for a new base area for example like right here i know these are really high arches on the top of very high cliffs because I've been over here before. These are waterfalls that come down. I may eventually want to build my base right there. And if I wanted to do that, maybe I needed to make sure that I found this place and I had to look for it. And so I threw a couple of radar towers up. However, the, the thing is, is by the time you're ready to do the radar towers, you've already got your base pretty much established. Um, the biggest problem that I have with them is you have to run power. Now, if you're trying to uncover the entirety of the map, imagine how far, I mean, this looks like it's pretty far from our base, but it's not. There's our base, that's how far we are. So to run towers all over this place to undo the fog of war, the map is huge and you're gonna have to either run power from your base or you're gonna have to find like coal nodes or geysers or some type of power to run, to set up and just run your radar tower and in my opinion that sucks i can't emphasize this enough i believe these need to be completely solar powered so we don't have to run any power to them until that's done uh i think these are kind of for me they're worthless they're not really going to do anything for me so you can also change the ta uh the 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 name so like tower of worthlessness uh, basically, you can change the name of them so you can actually see them on, you know, your your map. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Tower of Worthlessness there. So that's the radar tower. They're cool looking and all, but in my opinion, they're not very functional. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and go down. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make the rifle, hopefully. If I can get down without actually killing myself. Now, the rifle I'm super excited about because supposedly it's supposed to be as good as the Xeno Zapper. And you guys know the Xeno Zapper is my main choice of weapon because, let's face it, the rebar gun sucks. <laughs> and it's just because of its it's a one-shot, you know, long reload time. Um, so I don't like that thing at all. And, yeah, I just prefer the Xeno Zapper. Hello, lag spike. Okay, so let's go ahead and make... A rifle here okay so for the rifle we're going to need pipes 
heavy modular frames, uh, circuit boards, as well as screws. So we can go ahead and make one rifle, and then we can make cartridges. Now, with the cartridges, I'm not exactly sure how, I'm assuming the cartridges are one cartridge holds 10 rounds, five to 10 rounds. I'm assuming, holy crap, you need Noblesks for them. Oh yeah, that's why I got a bunch of Noblesks. I did check that out. So for that, I'm gonna make like 200 cartridges and I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that these cartridges hold like five to 10 rounds each. Cause if they don't, that's gonna suck. All right, we have got a lot, and I mean a lot of freaking cartridges. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, 500 and almost 550 cartridges. But before we do anything, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and test out the gas mask because we gotta get the boring stuff out of the way first, right? And I know of a decent place to go ahead and test that bad boy out, which is gonna be over here at our Katerium factory. Whoa. So let's go ahead and head over there real quick. And then I've got a really good spot. I think I actually just filled up our freaking. did I? Oh, I didn't, okay. I think I've got a really good spot to test out the, um, the rifle. And I think it's over gonna be, it's gonna be over by our node, our oil node area. My, my, my mouth is getting ahead of my brain, which does, isn't surprising today. Honestly, because my brain is just freaking fried today. I don't know why. You know, you just ever have those days? This, the, your brain's just like, screw you, dude. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and throw on the mask. Bottom left of the screen says 50. Let's just go ahead and step into the gas zone. 49. Okay, so you actually get a... You actually get a, a progress bar of how quickly your your gas masks are going down. So honestly, if I needed to get into anything in here, this would have been fine. One filter would have been fine. I mean, it's still going down. We're only halfway down when it comes down to the filter. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. So I wouldn't say you'd need to carry any more than 50. Now, I don't know if they stack to 100. I'm assuming they only stack to 50. But that seems fine to me, you know. Can I take it off now? Am I okay to take it off? All right, let's go ahead and equip. Uh, where's the rifle? Let's go ahead and equip the rifle. Oh yeah, look at that, we got a little keychain. A fix it. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so reload. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, they did a good job. Oh, they did a real good job. Okay, let's go down. Let's jump in our vehicle. We're gonna head over to the oil area. But before we get there, you guys remember last time what we killed? Yeah, we killed one of those fire breathing dudes and we killed it with, we killed it with fire. We killed it with explosives. We're gonna go take him on first. Woo! I'm not gonna kill a whale, dude. Don't worry, guys. I love watching these. Boom, sorry, big guy. All right, all right. Oh, look at that, our other truck hit him. That's so cool. Okay, so in my opinion, one of the best places for the for the for any type of a rifle would be in a sniper position. So let's go ahead and go up here. You know what, let's make it more action packed. Let's do this. Okay, so 10 shots didn't kill him. was like 10 11 12 something like that like 12 12 shots killed him okay so how many did that one two one two one two three four wait is that 518 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 518 10. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, I'm not really super happy about that. The, the, here's the thing. If you guys haven't dealt with like any guns in real life, basically you've got your gun, then you've got your magazine. The magazine holds anywhere from six rounds all the way up to hundreds of rounds, depending on how many or how crazy the magazine is, okay? Now, from what I was thinking, I was thinking these cartridges where basically one cartridge holds between five to 10 rounds. Unfortunately, it doesn't. The actual cartridge itself 
is actually around which actually doesn't well, i'm saying actually a lot i'm sorry but it it doesn't seem quite right to me i think they need to change that in my opinion because the fact of the matter is you have to use a nobilisk to actually get four i believe one nobilisk makes four rounds or four cartridges and these cartridges are only one shot each uh in my opinion that's not quite right i don't really like that a lot and i think each cartridge should actually you know go for five to ten rounds per cartridge uh that's just my opinion but i mean it hits hard and that's you know that's great it's fantastic where's all the bad guys usually they're over here um it hits it hits hard it's super accurate it's easy as hell to use it's got a quick reload on it can i go through here nope i'm gonna do this instead Oh yeah, so as I'm saying, I just, I don't know, that doesn't seem quite right in my opinion. I, I think the devs should change that, and I think each cartridge should at the very least be worth five, five rounds. Because like I said before, uh, it, it, you're going to go through rounds so ridiculously fast, uh, it's, it's not really worth it. I mean, by the time we're done here, I have a feeling... Oh, yeah, baby. That was cool. Okay, there's got to be... I'm still getting the water The water sounds. Are you guys hearing that? I'm still getting the water sounds. Uh, not enough space. Are you kidding me? Okay, we got no space. There's got to be a bigger guy. There we go. Reload. Forgot to reload. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. You're being tricky, aren't you? I see how you are. So about five or six hits for the smog dudes oh okay okay is he dead <laughs> i that was like one hit that was weird whoa i gotta reload again hold on here we go okay so this one took like 12 right Holy crap, what is this guy made of? Steel? He's got a different type of, of fire, too. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. See, I'm already down to 465 rounds, and I had to use all of those noblest that we had just to make that many, that many rounds. That is not bad. It's super, super accurate. There's no, I don't think there's any drop when it comes down to it. Um, can we? We might be able to open this up. Sometimes I think, oh yeah, we can open this one up. Sweet. All right, we got another hard drive. That means I can get another alternate recipe. That's really super cool. Uh, do we got anything else around here that we can really kill? Ooh, there's a yellow. Yep, we do, right there. Question is, is it going to bring him over, or do I have to go in after him? I got to remember, I don't have a jetpack. Where'd he go? Where's he at? Is there any others oh yep oh he scared me i kind of pooped a little bit I'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm trying to fly and i can't do that yeah baby okay so the rifle is a lot of fun it is an absolute blast to play with i like it a lot but i really think that the canisters uh the cartridges really 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 need to be switched over to uh over to actual cartridges cartridges means it carries something right it should carry rounds and instead of have and also the biggest thing that i think also is these need to stack to 100 plain and simple they need to stack to 100 but the rifle is a lot of fun to use i mean this thing is accurate as hell it kills pretty quick it shoots super fast and it does hold a, a you know 10 at a time which is super cool but if you look at the way that the cartridge looks on the bottom left of the screen or you look at this right here that looks exactly like what's on top of our rifle
So it looks like only one is being used. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm kind of confused? Can I actually... Oh, I can. Is that gonna... Oh, this should be interesting. Oh, yeah. Mystic Nightmare, for once in his life, is not aiming like a potato. All right, so there is the gas mask. There is the radar tower. You guys hearing that noise? What the hell is that noise? Is that water? I think there's some more bad guys over here. Let's go kill some more bad guys. What, I, you don't think I can't see you guys? I see you. Come on, reload, baby, reload! Oh, jeez, am I, am I missing him? There we go. You're going the wrong way, dude. You're running towards the gunshots. I don't think you can kill those guys. To be honest with you. Which I'm kind of I'm kind of happy about. Oh, you're gonna try to attack me or what? Oh, you just you're just randomly running around in circles. Okay, yeah, I don't think you can kill those guys. And if you can, it's gonna take way too many uh, cartridges to do so. Oh, hello. I get him. Well, I think I've kind of cleared out all of these islands. There's a couple down there. Let's go take these guys out. This is actually quite fun. The rifle is a lot of fun. But like I said before, it the cartridges fill up your inventory way too much. And they only last for one shot each. That's just... Oh, yeah, this thing does have a long distance, doesn't it? All right. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think I know. Um, I'm, I'm not going to kill the birds. I'm not going to kill the birds. Ah, you scared the piss out of me. What the hell? I know one more guy we're going to go kill. All right. If you can hit this at the right angle, you can actually climb this entire arch. You got to go right up this little corner right here. And then you, you start getting up the top. You got to spin to the right a little bit. And then and then in this and then the left and the right and the left. And you just stay on the track. Just stay on the track. Here we go. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, whoa. Whoa, that was close. Okay, so this guy is over here. You get on top of this arch over by the oil nodes over here. You build yourself a little MK4. Jump. And coast to the other side, baby. This is a really good spot over here, by the way. It's really cool. But this guy's in a cave over here, and I'm going to see how quickly... This gun will kill him if I can find him again. He's in this cave right here, right over here. Are you over here? Yeah, he should be right here. Here we go. He's gone. I killed him twice. I've killed him twice before. No. Wait. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, my God. He's so big. God, he's so big. I hate spiders. I hate spiders. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> that made me feel good. That made me feel good. He's, you can still hear the sound of him like walking though. That's kind of freaky as hell. And there's nothing else in this cave. Um, before, I think there was a power, uh, power, power. What do they call the power? Uh, a power slug in here before. But that's that dude. That's where that cave is. That is the wonderful, amazing... Oh, shoot. I forgot to go get my freaking car. That is the wonderful, amazing rifle, which needs to have the cartridges redone, in my opinion. Um, ooh, burp. That is also the gas mask, and that is the radar tower, uh, in my opinion. Oh, no, no, no. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, no hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out today, guys. I really appreciate it. Keep gaming. Keep doing it. And I have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And bye-bye.